Hello, ladies and gentlemen and others. Welcome back to the Nipa TV show. I'm your host, Nipa TV. That's me, and uh, we're going to be commentating a game of StarCraft 2. And it's going to be a random replay that was the most recent one I found on Spawning Pool, that is. And it's between uh, Kuku and uh, Kuku and Keanu. Uh, so, Keanu, yeah, probably a huge uh, Neo fan, John Wick fan, uh, freaking johnny silverhand fan that sort of thing and as we can see the banter is uh, quite spicy so far in the game so anyways the map is oxide le and it is a pvt so what shall we see we shall see what is cooking for keanu and what for cuckoo um, I actually do want to see the chat real quick. Sad. Oh, sad anymore. Not working. Haha. <laughs> Joking. A P. This time Marauders Jewish F. So these guys have probably faced each other before. Or maybe they're friends. And they're in a private game. Who knows? But uh, these two are Grandmaster from the portraits that I saw on the loading screen, that is. So this will be certainly interesting. This is certainly no uh, silver gold level kind of play. Nothing against silver or gold level, it's just it is different. Grandmaster is different, you can't deny that. Um, whether it be cheese or macro, it's still different. Uh, so we got a probe doing harass on Cuckoo's SUV um, that is uh, trying to build the barracks and actually it does force a delay because the SUV does have to get pulled. Cuckoo is still sending that SUV to try to thwart that probe away. Barracks does get complete. We do see a Reaper coming out. So we are going to see standard Reaper play with uh, Command Center relatively shortly. Interestingly enough, I this is cool to see. The uh, one gas for the SCV. Command Center is going down on a, re a relevant note, sort of. Uh, but yeah, no, one SCV in the refinery. This is kind of cool to see because uh, this allows you to prioritize making SCVs for, you know, for... SCVs, uh, minerals, marines, stuff like that. Uh, that was not explained that greatly, but you knew what I meant. Anyways, next is going down too, so Keanu is going to be following up suit. And I think actually Keanu's name is different because on the spawning tool replay, it had his original name. Actually, let me actually see what that name is right quick, just so he gets the credit he so deserves here uh, the one that uploaded it that is it's a uh, holy hit uh, I guess that is another name he goes by it was in parentheses so whatever we got a robotics facility going down so will we see some warp prism kind of attacks that will be cool um, I don't know why I'm acting like I don't know what's gonna happen because the title of the replay does have what happens but you don't know that, but now you do, so ugh, man, I've been I've been ratted out by myself, that is. Stalker does take out that Reaper. We have some adepts. One adept looks like he's she's trying to phase in to try to get some scouting information. Nice lift up for the supply depot there. It always impresses me how Terrans are just always attuned to that supply depot. As soon as they hear the fade come in, just boom, right up like clockwork. So sick. Marines have a cool skin, too. Got a tech lab and a reactor on these two barracks, and we have another command center going out. Wow. Interesting. Okay. Uh, we're, I mean, we're definitely going to have a third at some point for the Terran, obviously. But I think what he's doing, I'm not, not really an expert by any means, but I think this command center is going to be used to further supply saturation in the natural. And once the natural expansion is completely saturated, it'll lift up that command center and lift up over here to the secure third, which is always fun to see. And wow, a robotics facility. Again, why am I acting surprised? Uh, no, sorry. Uh, yeah, robotics facility is coming out. And so what will we see? Will we see Colossi? Will we see Disruptors? There's certainly anything at this point. We got two gateways at the natural expansion doing sort of a wall off, which is actually kind of cool to see. I don't see that that often versus Terran. And he still has plenty of surface area to pull his troops back if there were the case of a drop and whatnot. We got some Marines out. 
and I think STEM is being researched as well as plus one. So will we see a timing attack? That'll be fun to see. Observer is in the main base, does spot uh, the command center there, and we have three barracks total, no factory. There is the factory now, and yeah. So right now, and Keanu's actually going for a fast third. Wow, interesting, okay. Playing, uh, oh man, wow. All right, if he could get away with it, man, more power to him. Uh, Kaku does see it, though. We'll see what he ends up doing versus that. And then we have a Gravitic Drive, which makes that Warp Prism super fast, and a Colossus in the Warp Prism. Wow, okay, so we're definitely going to see some harass for that Colossus, and do we see Extended Thermal Lances being researched? Not at all. Why would you need Extended Thermal Lances when <laughs> the Colossus is going to be right up in the Mineral Lines grill? So we'll see how much damage it does. It is moving in. We'll see if there's a position, and it does get dropped, kills that Marine instantly, and actually is taking out the SUVs that are building the barracks. The stem does go down, Marines are coming in, and a nice lift up from Keanu, and does micro that Colossus quite nicely, and oh my goodness. And you'd think that this Colossus, in a normal situation, this Colossus would be very exposed, but the freaking micro from this War Prism is making an enormous difference, and that is pretty much all of the troops from... Kaku at this time, War Prism lifting up that Colossus, the boys are having, even have to be pulled. And this is a very good position for Keanu because he is securing his third, even transferring some probes over. So he is in a really nice position, getting that extended thermal lance and blink. Probably going to go into regular production, still continually being relentless with this Colossus drop. The command center is lifting up to try to go to the third base, the projected third base, which it will land there, it looks like. And the war prism does pull back a couple of colossi, some stalkers and sentries, and we'll see how much harass that these can do. This will be fun to see. And we do have a bunker, and this command center is going to have to be lifted, unfortunately, for Kaku. So a very sticky position for sure. And we don't even see, we do see medevacs coming out, and uh, no Viking production at all. Medivacs are probably going to be more important, especially for the unfortunate low amount of troops here. War Prism did drop a nice freaking heroic, a couple of marauders, three marauders that uh, defended versus that. And it looks like Keanu's going to try to knock at the front door or holy hit his parenthesized name print that's not a word at all anyways or maybe it is i don't know got some micro coming out for the war prism so a huge amount of uh stalkers being warped in thanks to those gateways and the medevacs are actually being boosted and kaku at this point is uh really just trying to defend as best he can he's got some widow mines out that may help and he's just gonna go for it go straight for the colossus does get one pulls back really smart goes in a little bit too much there maybe overextended war prison going down but there is an observer that does detect that and another colossus is actually there and this is not looking good for kaku but he is still managing to stay in a huge warp in from stalkers these stalkers have blink almost so the blink micro will be insane but who needs blink micro when you have a freaking warp prism to do that for you and we see some troops in out and the SUVs are being pulled to try to heal this and wow insane the SUVs are managing to heal the marauders as much as possible and cuckoo cuckoo how the heck you pronounce it is still managing to hold on from refusing to uh, oh okay I was about to say refusing to give up but uh Oh, there it is. Thank you so much for watching this episode of NEPA TV. The replay link should be in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.